my, my whole thrust in making these pictures it was to make photos of movie stars who are most unlikely to be reading the Jewish. Forvitz, we called it the Forvitz. And obviously, Spencer Tracy was unlikely. Alfred Hitchcock was unlikely. Sinatra was unlikely, but they all did it. They loved doing it. Don't ask me why they loved doing it. I would love to have made a number of people, which I did not make. Like I. Never had a chance to make one of Marilyn Monroe. I would love to have one of Charlie Chaplin. I never did that. Bert Lancaster is an army commander, an infantry commander, who's doing a war movie. And the war movie is, I'm trying to remember the title. Uh, it was about the Korean War, I think, called Pork Chop Hill. That was the name of it. Anyway, that's a scene in which they, in the movie business, they call it a dolly track scene, which means that the camera is on a dolly, and the dolly wheels through corridors, through rooms, through, and finally reaches where they're going to actually film. And the goal of this dolly track scene is Lancaster and his bivouac office, so to speak. And they do it, and they tell everybody, everybody knows what we're doing, but nobody told Lancaster. And as the camera finally rolls in to the scene, there is Lancaster reading the Jewish Daily Forward. And of course, it broke the director up, it broke everybody up. The idea came from the composing room foreman of the Jewish uh, forward, his son was a publicity agent in Hollywood. He happened to be the publicity agent for the company that made that Burt Lancaster film. And he's a movie bug. And I, as a gesture of compliance, agreed with the publicity guy, who was a friend of mine, to make pictures, he was a movie bug, the fa father, and he went crazy for movie stars. So I carried a copy of the paper in my camera bag. Whenever a likely subject came by, I asked him to pose reading it, which they did. And that made a big hero out of Max Golding, that was his name.